today is going to be an exciting game. Long time defender, 20, former French international. In Auré Pelé, Pelé, who died on the 29th of December. Welcome. A reminder that this is a tournament. And a decent delivery. Might see them on the score sheet early. It's a poor attempted at a clearance and laid back a shot that's on target. But can you imagine what an opening goal might do? Shot is on here from a long way out. Either way, the attack is nipped in the bud. Oh, that was a great chance. That was a great chance. Oh, that was superb from Joey. They both understand the significance of winning their opening fixture as well. Alofi 14 was a superb structure and a quality goalkeeper in uh, Mohamed Nashnoush. That's fantastic, fantastic defense. It for Munir to aim at. Whips in the corner here and uh, commanding presence from the goalkeeper, Gwendouz. It's Gwendouzi. Gwendouz, 1-0 win over Niger in June last year. Salto goes down, free kick to Libya. Using a set piece directly a goal. Uh, that was that was necessary. Former French international who replaced a Spaniard who was in charge of Libya when they won the championship in 2014. He came back for a second spell. Far side, Loafi. Nigeria moving the ball around very nicely. There was an element of promise in it. Marius needed to come back to collect the ball. It was great anticipation from the central defender. And the way they moved the ball from the back. It's so amazing. Fantastic game. Far side again. Loafi this time with the delivery. And in possession for Libya. They're using the ball at the right time, making right decisions. Both sides are doing well. It happens. Oh, assistant referee on the far side. Classy Brobe of Ghana. Pick up the run by Lahmuri. He's belayed. The ball over the top. But can it be kept in play? It's skewed off the side of the boot. Very creative play. He's, uh, the type of teammate that Munir. Outside of the boot from Okasha. Starting left back for today's time, Munir. Orja. That's a decent looking delivery as well. The header is looping, but just yeah, over yeah, the Yeah, yeah, I mean, that was a very good uh, like get up the opponent's the They were calm, keeping the ball, two touch, two one touch. touch. But unlucky, they got the ball root of the net. For Algeria, the crowd encouraging support. Elabasi, just getting spoken to by referee Tom. Man. Kedusi, it's a swinging ball back away from the goalkeeper. There were appeals for a handball. Here's the incident. Yeah, that was a good ball in. I don't think it was a handball. But that was a serious tackle as well. Yeah, very okay. painful. Uh, that was a decision that he made before the ball got to him. He yeah, should have had a touch, but yeah, he decided to go. Delivery into some space. Drowey toward the back post a little too far from so the ball goes out from the box Nigerians with an interesting tactic hands on teammates delivery into that danger area connect so to Loafi an opportunity lost for Algeria yeah. Mizian is on the end of it inside that 18 yard area now Mizian little cut back in Rusi had a touch on it and again it's scrambled away to Ami this time with the salvation for Libya but what a turn from Kendusi setting up the run and again a chance. Kendusi is making a lot of things happen there. Like that's what I'm saying. And the penalty area lays it back for the onrushing Lawafi ahead of oh. it comes. Belhite, the buccaneering right back in towards Marius. And maybe attempting too many passes here, Algeria. Mizian. Oh, goalkeeper has come out and punched that ball away, but he is. He's, uh, been knocked off his feet by Marius. Tall and physically imposing. Alafi comes out. Wow. Wow. As we take a look at the incident again. Heavy touch from Kedusi. He's just allowed Belgasem to get in and claim possession. Oh, it's a poor back pass here. And that's going to be a penalty. Indeed, Amogile Tom points to the penalty mark. He had no and Majid Bouguera gets to celebrate. Oh set up by a poor back pass you don't release the ball in time because he has so much players around him should have released the ball or even saved the throw by dangerous players and very very intelligent You're looking at where he was before he saw the back pass and it is last year can he score the opening goal of the african nations championship indeed he can majid bugera looking over he was the player 
Oh, that is confidence. He was able to steal the ball from the goalkeeper and he resolved the penalty. Look at how confident he was. Playing for the Algerian ace. Opposed and comfortable himself. A, a penalty from Ayman Mahius. Opposed and cut when the ball strikes the referee. It's restarted from a drop ball. Algeria have a real chance here to make it two. It's an ambitious change. It's not uh, it's, uh, trying to keep the pressure on the opponents, it seems, as Libya look to go on the attack. And that's only just very powerful drive by Al That was well hit. He hit it. A counter attack is on here. Algeria have a player running in toward the back post. Mezian needed to release that ball. Gets inside the 18 yard area. Slides it in. A call to connect with the team. The ball. I think he released it so early. From the corner, Libya looking for an equalising goal. They've struck the woodwork. From the corner, Libya looking for a goal because it was a free man, free man, no one marking him. Just a moment ago, whipped in Salama, free of it. Libyans were very lucky. The experienced. Well over a decade he's played for Libya. Played at the 2012 Africa Cup of Nations. That's success in the Nations Championship. Comfortable for the goalkeeper. Making runs for Algeria into positions of danger. Kindu. Mind you, they're making their fifth appearance at the Chan, Libya, but they've only made three Africa Cup of Nations. Libya has the set piece. Can they find an equaliser here? Headed away. A counter attack is on here. Algeria had to release that ball. Gets inside the 18 yard area. Position for Algeria. They are so. Although anticipating. Con so too does Munir. He was a great player. Oh, that is confidence. He was able to steal the ball from the goalkeeper and he resolved the penalty. Look at how confident he is. Very powerful drive by Al -Khar. That was well hit. He hit it. Just ready. So to our Libya. It's Talal who hits it straight into the wall. Libya. Just to check for something inside the area. That is it. The check is complete. The final whistle has sounded. Algeria have won their opening fixture in Group A of this Total Energies African Nations Championship. It has not been an easy victory.